Okay, so we are looking at some aspects of uh, masses. All right. So we are looking at the diagnosis. We are looking at treatments. We are looking at prevention of masses. Diagnosis, treatment, prevention of masses. Okay. So masses, we have spoken about it. Uh, is basically an infection caused by this guy. All right. So for the diagnosis, we say that uh, usually, like from the in infection side, right? If you press it, this larva actually comes out. You know. So so that diagnosis can be made upon finding the larvae. All right. So it should be removed and kept for identification. All right. So the shape of the larvae, the patterns of the spiracles are characteristics of different groups of flies. So you should be careful to basically identify the main one that actually caused that problem. So sometimes larvae are breeded in the laboratory. All right. So if you can't really diagnose, like you leave it till it actually grows, right? For you to actually diagnose that this actually a problem there. Treatment is uh, um, essentially you are trying to destroy and remove the larvae and treat the lesions, right? You get? Can you see this larvae here? This is the larvae. Alright. So removal is easy in open wounds but difficult if seats if deep seated or in internal mucous membranes of the frontal sinus. If deep seated and large, an attempt must be made to remove the larvae. And the wound should be packed with an antibiotic. All right. So prevention is if an obligatory parasite destroy the larvae in living host and prevent further development of larvae which have escaped. Protect op open lesions of the skin and mucous membranes by gauze and wool dressing. Use nets or screens or repellents just to protect the humans. Control of adult flies in their breeding places with insecticides. Then protection of food from flies. 